Oh, man. All right, well. Time for a little bit more mother. Oh, I forgot. I left this Pepsi out, man. Earlier, it's probably bad as hell. Mm. You know what? It's still drinkable. I'm fine. I can work with this. So, yeah. Mother. We're going we're gonna to finish this stuff today. About to mute my TV. There we go. Yeah, I'm kind of in the end game right now. There's not really <clears throat> a whole lot left in terms of uh, actual game progression. So right now, I think I have six, or eight melodies. I sure do. So yeah. We're gonna plow on through. Um, what I got for goods? Some pizza stones. I might buy some food. I'm probably gonna need it. Cause this guy still. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the ointment's supposed to be able to revive people from the the dead, but. It's not worked for me so far the entire game. Maybe I have wrong item, but I thought it was supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't revive, but it does heal 999, so I might stock up on some of this shit. Just hope I don't die. Oh, don't have any money. Okay. check that before I buy some more. I don't want to completely fill up my stuff, but I do want to have a good amount on hand. See, I have her with two... Um... Yeah, that might, that might be good. I'll buy one more for ten. See where that takes me. That I'm probably gonna call it good on the ointments. So I didn't really talk to any of the townspeople when I got in here because I kind of already knew where I was going. Talk around. You talk around. The people here should eventually tell you that a large ship has gone to the north. If we check in our map, to the north is basically the only location we haven't been. So That's kind of our next stop. Um, there was a mention. There was a mention that we should stop at the. I want to say the harbor first, so I might go and do that. But our end goal is basically to the north, and actually to the west will be that building I couldn't get to beforehand. So.
And just like before, because these dudes explode, we're not going to even bother with them. They're not even worth the time. flavored tofu. Um. Oh god. Somebody actually mentioned that earlier in the game. I don't remember who, though. I'm not sure where the strawberry flavored tofu was at. I did a quick look just to see what this was, because it's been such a long time, I, I couldn't remember what the actual quest rewards were, but it's not really worth it. Um, they give you some items that might be okay to use for like, uh, one or two battles for debuffs or something, but they're not actually really all that useful. I'm thinking this is the harbor, so... I'm not gonna worry. We're gonna run around or we're gonna head towards the mountains, I guess. That's where the smoke is, and that's where the parents were taken with the big mothership. Teddy's like waddle animation, like just the way he walks when you're looking straight down. Sure. Yes, yeah, this this works. find my way to the mountains, which I think are over this way. Kind of an irritating fight just from the status effects, but... It doesn't hit that hard. I think I'm at 
take off auto battle. Seems like they're targeting things that are already dead or not targeting smartly, so... Better split them up there. Yeah, and kind of like we saw earlier, um, Teddy hits like a truck. He's doing a solid like 25 HP more than in 10 per attack, so... He's really good. It's like every time I stream, I'm always a little bit sleeker than I was last time. This time it's because I've, I've been drinking a little. Memorial Day weekend and all that. Um, nothing too crazy, just, just some whiskey, but... Uh, even a little bit of that will take you, take you down just a little bit. Honest, I'm not really sure where I'm going. I think I want to go to the east, but I feel like this way is going to lead me back down. Oh, I think PK Freeze Gamma. That's a really good spell. Not spell, I guess psychic power, but whatever. You know what I mean? I think that's one of the ones I've been kind of waiting on getting. Yes, that is a very good spell. So, for 8 PP, whereas these two do kind of standard ice damage, like this one's normal and this one just kind of bumps up some, uh, this actually puts an enemy into critical status. You can kind of think of it similar to uh, some of the gravity attacks from Final Fantasy or something like that, where rather than like outright doing a set number of damage, um, it just like sucks most of their HP. I might have an Nintendo 10 attack this dude. Yeah, uh, PK Freeze. Um, Gamma is just extremely useful for a lot of the encounters coming up. I guess I'll just head south and see where that takes me. Pretty sure I'm on the, the correct path, but... Just due to the encounters I'm seeing alone, since you don't really see fights like this uh, until you start getting closer to the endgame area. Probably keep gammaing you guys here. Yeah, these guys aren't unmanageable, but they definitely hit a little hard. But if we can sap them with Gamma, then actually pretty good. They're pretty easy to take down.
So let's see. Even the Life Up Alpha is pretty weak at this point. I'm trying to keep Nintendo on healing duties just because uh, I don't want to sap too much of Anna's PP. Since I'm going to need her to have a decent amount when we get to the area I'm trying to head to. I think he has one more healing. Nope. So we're probably good. And then we have Teddy absolutely destroying things, so... Let's see... Yeah, I'm coming close to some place. Yep, and we'll take this dude up on his offer. Talk to him twice to get him to activate it. Ointment. I wonder if he's selling it or if he's just going to give it to us. Oh, he's just giving it. Here, I spend all that money trying to load up on ointment. Fucking hell. It's not like I won't use it. Huh. Yeah, so we gotta be getting, getting pretty close to the final final dungeon. Uh, I believe in this translation it's called Mount Holy Lowly, I wanna say. Um, but in the original... I guess I shouldn't say original, but in the... Oh shit, Teddy already killed him. Um, in the US localization they called him Mount Itoi. Uh, in reference to Shigesato Itoi, the creator of the game, which is kind of unique because the Japanese version uh, called it Holy Loli as well, I'm pretty sure. So, that's where we're trying to head. We wanna get there and kinda resolve the situation that's going on. Some kids got kidnapped, Teddy's parents were killed. You know, it's, it's, uh, so, so, something's going on up here. Bunch of aliens, some, something weird. Something weird's going on. We're, we're gonna find out what. Gonna take care of those a a and... You know, save the day. Here we are, I'm pretty sure. So, this place is pretty nasty. From what I remember, it's a solid difficulty spike jump. Um, there's kind of reasons for that in the dungeon itself. Uh, but, I wanted to give you a heads up that there's a good chance I might have to duck out of this place. Because unfortunately, it's it's kind of nasty. The encounters here are some of the hardest in the game. They are a full step up above whatever you're fighting currently. So, yeah, if, if, if I have to repeat this place a few times, uh, don't be surprised. Cool final dungeon music, though. Uh, this place is pretty confusing layout-wise as well, just because there's a lot of twists and turns and other shit. Yeah, and we're even seeing beefed up, uh, beefed up Starman now. So 
so. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun. Um, can't remember how strong these guys are, so I'm just gonna have Nintendo and Teddy to try and take them out. Yeah, these dudes can take some damage. They're in defensive stances, but I, I still think they have a pretty solid amount of HP. That's helpful. You know, I might load up a map for this place just because it is pretty confusing and I you know, think there's a few items here that I'm going to want to grab. Um, I know it's kind of a bitch move, but I've already beaten this game a few times, so I'm not too worried about uh, optimizing my time just a little bit. on Teddy already, so... Yeah, this is Teddy's best weapon, because he, he's a, you know, he's a giant weeaboo. Um, gotta give him the katana. It's the strongest weapon of all. <laughs> Pulled it over 10,000 times. Um, yeah, we can drop the basic sword. I'm not gonna bother holding on to it or trying to sell it at this point. And let's do a quick check. I'm trying to see where things kind of lead me out. I think we want to go... Up Yeah, when we hit Earthbound, I, I probably won't be using any kind of maps or anything like that. Um, I'm mainly using them here just because Mother's uh, caves and stuff are pretty pretty twisting, and there's some seriously important items that you can absolutely miss in them. Um, in addition to the fact that the random encounter rate just really drags things down after a while, so... Uh, I, the way I look at it is I've already done this thing fully legit. I'm cool with not doing this part legit. Um, again, I know it's kind of a bitch mode thing. I understand. I am perfectly okay with that. Really, this dungeon and... Uh, and especially the factory earlier in the game are probably the only places I'd really recommend using maps in this game. All of the other dungeons are pretty straightforward, but there's parts in, like, this one and that one where... You might really want a map, just to make your life a bit easier. <clears throat> You don't really need any more minions. We're like stocked up pretty good. Probably don't need a mouthwash anymore. Um, whatever, we'll leave her. Her empty. Doesn't matter. I'm not expecting to find anything dropping wise, so really the only things I'm gonna be grabbing in here are. Some, some good stuff, and then we'll continue on from there. Yeah, part of the reason why this dungeon's so confusing, too, is a lot of the rooms teleport into each other. So, like, one exit might lead into one room, one exit might lead to another room, one exit in that room might lead back to the first room. Um... It gets kind of it gets kind of uh, confusing. What do they call it? Ranger. I like that. I like that name. I don't like this though. Yeah, that that, that can stop. 
Holy shit, we're doing like no damage to this dude. Um, wonder what Nintendo should do. See, obviously can't. We're gonna have, gonna have him deaf down, we're gonna have this bitch. PSI shield. So otherwise my team's not gonna last a whole lot longer. This dude hits way too hard. No effect. That's awful. That is awful. Well. Oh, and of course, he's gonna do defense down beta, and it's gonna work perfectly. Oh boy. Well. Thinking about running from this dude, just because this fight's taking way too long. Same time. Yeah. Wish Ninten had another offensive attack, but he doesn't. Oh, what am I doing? I have PK Freeze Gamma. I don't even need to fuck around with him. What am I doing? Yeah, there we go. There, let's make this fight quick. Yeah, wow, making things way harder on myself there. I kind of forgot I had that. Um, just because for most of the game I haven't, but... Yeah, there, there's kind of a good example of where... Breeze Gamma makes things a little bit nicer for us. We don't need to pump up anymore. So this should be Anna's ultimate weapon to finally replace her boomerang I slapped on her halfway through the game, so... That, we can finally get rid of this. And then we'll swap over the ointment to Anna. So the last thing we can really get in this cave is uh, Ninten's ultimate weapon, which we can get, I want to say, going in this entrance here. I'm reading this right, and then we have to go all, all the way down. Um. Yeah, we'll gamma C. It's Teddy and Ninten should kill the first guy. Teddy and Ninten did not kill the first guy. Okay, well. Freeze B, and we'll have Teddy finish off guy number one. Fuck. At this point, either one of them should probably kill the other. Yeah, truthfully, once you get a PSI Freeze Gamma, um, can kind of cheese this end area just by slamming it on all the enemies, because even if you're doing like a low-level run, uh, if you have an Ana with uh, Gamma on her, um, you can basically just drop anything in a critical condition and then instantly kill it, so... 
It's basically like the strategy through this area. So we'll go in here, and here should be Nintendo's best weapon. I think in the localized version this was called Hank's Bat, and it was in reference to like an actual baseball player. Um, especially about the famous athlete's autograph on it. Here it's just Supreme Bat. It'll still give him a good nice damage boost over the uh, boomerang I've had on him for the entire game. So now, how the fuck do I get over there? I have to go... Okay. I'm pretty much right there, so... For Gamma, these dudes... See, what was the other attack I got? I got... Oh, I got life up. Gamma. Or no, that's life up, uh... Delta, I believe. I don't know, I, I can't into, uh... Greek letters. I'm just guesstimating here. So... I uh, will have an intent to take care of that guy and... So we'll just have Teddy attack this guy. Oh god, his HP was so low, he was already that close to death. That's pretty great. And we got a nice level up out of it. Got a nice couple levels, level ups out of it. So yeah, and then from here I believe it's a straight shot to the next part of the dungeon. Freeze him, have him attack him. Yeah, that would have killed the guy even without the HP drop. I think their HP is only right around 100 just from the previous ones that have been killed. Um, let's see, he has three... She has the but Inten can hold. Oh, cause I yeah. I don't I need the mouthwash. We're gonna drop the mouthwash. Have her give up one of her ointments. Then I'm gonna have him give up the other PSI stone I just got. It's a lot more important we keep PSI up than it tends. Half a gamma, the second guy. Straight into it. Oh shit, he already created the one guy, so. Oof. That is way too dangerous. That is way too close. We cannot let her die.
So yeah, um, thinking if I remember correctly, I think here's where the enemies even beef up again. Another step, just due to a story event that's going to happen soon. Um, so I'm going to try really hard not to beef it here. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a healer along the way, but uh, it's going to be a long trip. It's going to feel like a long trip. We will be liberally applying as much gamma as we can on everything we come across. Same thing with this dude. Gamma him and then attack the next turn. Jesus, 52 damage. Oh god, I hope he doesn't hit Anna. Oh no. I think there's a healing house right up ahead. I, I looked for I looked through maps for the last area, but I'm gonna try not to for this one just because I don't believe this area is as confusing. But I might have to fuck out fuck off of this mountain. Um, because yeah. Yeah. This dude's yeah, we're running. That is that is something you're going to see me do a lot because it's it's this area is just gnarly. Everything is super strong. There's a couple of really nasty enemy encounters in this area that I just don't want to touch. This being one of them. We're getting out of here. I don't want to deal with that dude. This is also a really night, a really nasty battle. Oh no! Should have 50 slipped. I might die here. Oh no! 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 Yeah, just like that, I'm fucked. Bam. Oh. The only bad part is... I'm gonna get slapped all the way back to Valentine, meaning I'm gonna have to run back to... Oh. see. Damn, that bullet. Should have 50 slipped or 40 slipped as soon as I could. $480 for Dr. C. Come on. I think it's based off your level, so I'm gonna still try Teddy, but that's just crazy. Nope, it's not. mildly annoyed right now just because I really don't want to run through all of that shit just to get back there. I'm almost like 90% certain the healer's house on Mount Etoy, I'm almost certain, has a fucking save point. 
and I'm just really irritated. I was like, ah. So I know they're not mean enough to not have a save point until the end of the game. I, I'm pretty sure they have one about halfway up. We're right around halfway up, but... God. It's not the worst thing, but still. Might as well save up again and then make my way up back up. irritation right now. Uh, but oh well. Oh well. <sighs> After I get through this, I can numb it down with a bit more whiskey. really into scotch lately, but uh, I'll drink pretty much anything. I like a lot of rye and bourbons, too. Don't have to get too fancy. Just something that tastes good. Oh, I wish I turn. That's not too bad. I always, I always clinch up a little bit whenever I see the smash from the enemy side, just because their their damage output, especially at this point in the game, is is generally so high that like I'm just expecting it to insta give Anna or uh, or even one of my regular guys too, just because they can do so much damage. Well, here's hoping I don't completely biff it twice in a row. Um, again, just because of how high the chances are of dying in that cave, I would still, or not in the cave, but on the plateau once you get there, I'd still really recommend using a map just to kind of beeline shit a little bit. Again, I know it's absolutely pansy-ish, but God. I really don't want to have to try to do this whole dungeon in one attempt. 
while also getting lost in caves. That just does not sound fun to me. such high HP, I don't even know if I want to bother with them. And we're back. So. Just trying to plot the fastest way to where I need to be. Kind of thinking the way I went last time might be the fastest. Yeah, I'm thinking that might be it, so just retrace the same route. PP not getting touched. Yeah, I make it all the way through the first first time. And now the second one, it's just like I have no enthusiasm for these caves. Jesus, like, you see that shit right there? That's crazy. Oh, no. No. Oh. This is not the point in game for people to start dying. Ooh. That was really close on getting her knocked down. Right now, she's still the only person who can revive, so I'd really like to not have her die. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, of course I get into a fight with another one right away. crazy how even, like, just her at full health is so low. I know she's the weakest party member, but it's still, like, man, I, I just don't want to potentially deal with her dying right now. I would, I would literally have to leave this place and redo it again, and I really don't want to do that. to do the the one the one gamma and I did the wrong gamma oh no 
Looks like it's gonna work out, but still. It's really not good to waste PP right now if I can help it. taking a quick look to see where places go, but again, I think I'm honestly just faster following things through. So. Oh, man. I should have just had her attack. She's probably already in a it's already probably in a critical state right now. Oh, we got a nice level up out of it at least. Couple nice level ups out of it. HP up and hopefully don't die. Oh, well that's kind of a waste of turn on Nintendo's part, but whatever. It'll work out. Teddy's gotten so much uh, damage, such big damage boost from that last level up. I might not even be need to uh, double them up with ten on these guys anymore. Yeah, I don't need to heal. So, yeah, down and around. Don't I even need to do this, but... Yep, yeah, oh, I'm gonna need... This dude's already take so little damage that he, after a PK shield, I'm not gonna even be able to barely hit them, so... I could stop with this beam bullshit, though. As it doesn't hit Anna, we're good. Jesus, really? 
Yeah, once I get to the plateau this time, I'm probably just going to 4th D slip my way to the, the healing house, because the guys up at the top are just so strong, I don't even know if I can deal with them. Um, that one random encounter I got hit with just slapped me with, like, 90 damage per turn. This area kind of lulls you into a state of like false security just because when you first get here and you're fighting these guys they're not all that bad but like everything on the plateau higher is just awful. might be guarding, though. Yeah, but I mean, at this point, though, like, even though I'm kind of complaining about how long this is taking, at this point I really am just, like, right at the end of the game. Um, or, like, a hop, skip, and a jump right before the final boss, so... As long as I can kind of power through this, I should be good, but... It's just the, the, the powering part that gets kind of, uh, irritating at points. But I keep landing fat crits like that, so there won't be a problem. You learn. Life of Beta, finally. So... I have him at Due, we'll have her... C, and we'll have Teddy do B. Yeah, really the only shitty thing about a lot of the spells in this game is there's like no defense against them. So, outside of a uh, PSI shield, so, like, you're basically getting slammed with, like, a set amount of damage that completely ignores your defenses every time an enemy tries to use a spell. It, it's really, uh, really kind of, uh, nasty to try and deal with. And I might have Anna... Use some of her PSI stone. She definitely needs more PSI. <sighs> All right, well, back here. Hopefully, I don't get my ass spanked again.
you know what? No. 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 We're, we're, I'm not even going to bother trying to fight this shit. We're out. This area is way too nasty to try and fight every encounter. Like this dude right here can fucking solo my party. You know what? Fine. I'm gonna try and kill him, because it's only one. I think it's less, uh, PP usage if I just try and kill him. Yeah, that one wasn't too bad. If it was two of them, I probably would have fourth D slipped right out of there. I don't want to deal with those dudes. Like, it's still good to fight, but at the same time, the things here are just so powerful that I can't afford to have certain characters die. Like that, right there. That could have been a lot worse if it hit Anna. I might just use an ointment for this, just to avoid using more PP. Oh, let's see, I think it was over here. God, like a fight like this where there's two guys, I don't even know if I want to bother trying to kill them or if I'm just basically signing my deaths up my own death warrant, but we'll try. 38 just off of a 53 off just attacking. Get fucked. Jesus. Absolutely outlandish. God, I think we're like almost there to the house. I just I just gotta make it a little further. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Uh... Oh, did he heal me entirely? I think he did. I'm pretty sure this is illegal. <laughs> Why not? But I like to dance, sure. Boy, it'd be a real dick move to say no right now, wouldn't it? I'll say yes. We'll, 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 we'll be nice to a little girl. Oh no! Um... Oh 
don't know. This is what I think it is. Oh, no. Um. Well. Whatever. It, it, it'll work. PSI shield, PSI shield, power shield. I honestly can't remember what that does. What does power shield do? Reflecting damage back. That might actually be ni nice. Um, yeah, let's slap that on Anna. Two damage. Come on. Oh, come on. Well. Oh, boy. Yep. And I didn't save. Oh, no. Tore a hole through space. What the fuck? Oh, no. I forgot to save. Shit, I think Teddy's Teddy's done for. So yeah, we just lost our main offensive output. This whole dungeon's about to get a lot harder as a result. Oh, no. And where are we at? Are we back in Valentine? No, we're all the way back here. Oh, fuck me. So yeah, how's that for dick slap? You know where they put us? They put us in the healer's house, so I have to go through that fucking cave one more time. Ah. <sighs> okay. Alright. It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, probably. Lloyd can't dish out, like, any damage, but it, it'll work out. Probably. I'm heavily debating just, did he, did he come leveled up? He did come leveled up, so that's a bit nicer. But I, I am heavily debating just 4th D slipping my whole way through this dungeon. So I don't want to deal with this again. Oh, man. Well. Third time's the charm. this blows. Oh well, I, I kind of vaguely remembered this part and I knew I was losing Lloyd either way, so it's not really that big of a surprise. I just figured they wouldn't drop me all the way back outside of the dungeon. Again like, maximum dick hittery. Really? Of course, it nails the one guy who can't reflect it. Eat shit. Oh, 
Oh no, he has all his PP. For some reason I thought he didn't. Seems like Anna's faster than Lloyd, so I might just have her start attacking the same guy. Fuck you. Really? Feel it now, Mr. Krabs. Let's go up here. I already miss having Teddy. The problem is too, I don't think you can beat the game without Lloyd, unfortunately. So like, I'm, I'm kinda stuck with him, no matter what, in the endgame section. He's just so weak and useless in this game. There, where does this end up? It ends up there. Nightmare will all be over soon. Keep getting stuck on the rocks. There we go. Come on, he has to be like one or two HP off. Let's see what she gets. She has. Oh, Beam Gamma, so that's that's good. I think that one's an instant death spell, but I think I don't think the chances are like 100% chance. I think it's pretty low, actually. So I'll probably be sticking to slamming them with uh, Freeze Gamma. 
seeing if that saves saves my time. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. If we're gonna kill him this turn either way. Almost out of the caves again. And I'm gonna have to try and make it to the healer's house and hopefully not die. So I would really like to save there. I made a huge mistake by not saving. I forgot that section there. I forgot I could save after I healed and explored. And, uh. Oh, fuck you. No. Oh, God. Getting nervous. Yeah, I could, I could do without that shit, like, Anna being in critical condition constantly. It's my HP. I'm gonna top off Anna because... I don't trust her to survive anything here, even at max HP. Um, I feel like she is basically destined to die. If I don't have her topped off, so... Yeah, I'm not even gonna fuck around. I'm gonna f I'm gonna fourth these slip until I get to the healing house because I don't want to even chance it. I want to get up there and save as quick as I can. I'm not even a chance trying to heal first. Nope. It's save time. So now if we die, we should have a bit of an easier time getting back at least. save again just that way I'm fully healed whenever I go to pick this up but uh yeah from here it's basically just gonna be one kind of continuous stretch right to the end so hopefully I don't eat it too bad Yeah, I'm, I'm still 4th D slipping out of this bitch. I ain't doing any of these. That is why I'm not doing any of these. You know, conventional wisdom might make you think, well, if you know you did more of those, then she wouldn't die right away. No, um, there's gonna be a lot easier way to grind here very soon. I'd rather do it then than before. So 
So let's try this again without anyone dying. basically downhill from here. Nope, pretty sure th these guys know some pretty strong PSI. So again, just 4th D slipping out. here. There's something rad waiting for us at the bottom. It's gonna make surviving this place not only much easier, but also grinding in it a whole lot easier. I don't even think there's any enemies in this area, that's how rad this rad this place is. Got some cool fishies, alright. Some more fishies. curious what happens if we bypass the ladder. I wonder if there's any treasure chests or something in here, but it doesn't look like it. So you see this here? This is a rad-ass robot. And we need Lloyd along and because he's the guy who, uh, thought he was the one who fixed it, but I guess not. We just need him for the boat. Anyway, Eve. Father was George, and staying to the ends of the universe. If you remember correctly, uh, George was uh, not only the guy who went missing, but also Nintendo's grandfather. Um, so he got taken to the ends of the universe and then returned with weird psychic powers. Either way, we now have a rad robot party member who makes our life much easier. So much easier that I'm actually going to be fighting. Because I have no reason not to now. Yeah, I'm gonna try to, uh, grind them up just a little bit, um... Just to make my life a little easier. Um, I don't know if I'll go too crazy with it, but I'm probably gonna try to get an intent to, like, level 32-ish before I continue on. Says your 33 is the next time he learns a spell, so probably right around there. But yeah, because Eve just does balls to the wall damage, there's not really a reason to not fight at this point outside of just 
you know, wanting to progress through the game as quickly as possible. In my case, though, um, I think it'd be better just to get her leveled up, or get uh, my team leveled up just a little bit. Um, just because the, once you go a little bit norther, um, you lose Eve permanently, so this is really your only good chance to grind in this area with her. Yeah, and if I cared enough, I might even pump him up to level 38 just for another spell of his, but uh, that seems pretty high. I'm probably just going to go 33 for him. Just checking what level Anna learned some of her stuff, because I might, might, already, might already be good with her. Yeah, because I don't need life up Omega, I just need some way to heal everybody, and I think she's already got that. She does. Oh, she doesn't. Yeah, she does. Yeah. I don't know why I was thinking that was the wrong, the wrong, uh, Greek character, but, yeah, no, she's, she's solid now, so, probably pump it up so that way Ninten gets, uh, a good spell, and then, we'll progress with the game. grind around the cabin just so that way I can heal and save if needed. Wow, this dude's fucking tanky. Wow. I might have fucked up. I, I... I might have honestly goofed. This might be the boss of the area. I thought that he was more north, but I guess not. Well, damn. I guess I really, uh, pecked the pup this time. Okay, well, we'll let things play out, I guess. Screwed it. Welp. <laughs> Damn. Alright, well, uh... I guess we're not grinding. <laughs> Whoops. so good at video games. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna chance grinding on these dudes, because they will murder me, so... 
we're basically gonna run our way to the final boss. <laughs> and hope I have enough, uh, enough means to survive his bullshit. <laughs> I did so well. Only good point in the game to grind at this late. And I goofed it all. <laughs> oh well. I beat the game at a lower level than this before. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. As long as I don't goof up too bad and, like, die, I should be good. Yeah, we, even, we ain't even chancing it with any of these dudes. I'm getting out of here. Yep. No, we ain't. We ain't. We ain't doing it. <laughs> We're getting out of here. Yep. All these dudes are gonna murder us. Oh boy. Oh boy. I can't believe how hard I just goofed killing off. Killing off Eve. Oh no. surviving this shit. We're all gonna die. I'm trying to remember what's at the top of the peak. Oh no. I have no more PP left. You know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna try to power ed. I'm thinking I was supposed to do the peak with... Yeah, I was supposed to do the peak with Eve. You know what? You know what, this, this, I saved, this ain't worth it, I goofed hard, let's reset the game. Cause yeah, I, I, I goofed that hard, I thought I could grind near this dude's house, and that was a mistake. Glad to see Satanya Chan's done, uh, you know, mocking Mac users. So yeah, mental note to self, don't go south once you have Eve. Just, just keep going. You go south, everything's gonna go to hell. Just, just, just keep going north. Sorry, I was listening about Oda, but I think we, we had a bunch of guests over at our house tonight, and I'm thinking uh, they might have just been me. But I'll have to come out and check at some point. So 
I still need to eat dinner tonight. Yep, everything goes to hell, and then we have a super cool robot party member. And this time we will not take her south. I thought shit was bad previously. No, we, we need her on, on the, uh, the north part of this place. You know, my memory is absolutely garbage, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go through this dungeon one more time. Like, it's like one of those things that just entered my mind and I feel like, you know, that's a, that's like a thing. It's weird, I can't use, uh, I wonder if it's a battle only skill. Yeah, because I have it, but I can't use it out on the world map. I was going to see if I could use uh, ESI Gamma, but looks like I can. Just go north or north or still and hopefully don't invite it. Still don't know if I'm gonna bother grinding, just because the enemies at this exact location are so strong that Pretty sure it's probably best just not to even bother grinding quite that high. As long as I have fight every encounter and just guard, let Eve take care of shit, I should be fine. To be honest. Rangers aren't too threatening, but I'm worried about uh, some of the other robots that show up here. So we'll just go up and then uh, just keep going up. I know it's riv it's riveting commentary, but it's not a whole lot to say at this point, just because I'm getting really close to the end here. Um, for the most part, at this point, it's just kind of like staying alive. As long as I don't completely eat it, I'm probably going to be okay. Try to... Which 
ready to go. Of course. Gonna tease me a little bit there. Boy howdy, this sure is a battle I should really guard on. I can't remember if any of these guys explode, but I'm gonna really hope they don't. That guy explodes. Okay, that's cool. That's 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 rad. I'm all I'm all for this, you know. Hey there, Boomba. We're we're in the final stretch here. Things are going slow, but I'm, I'm almost done. It's 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 a stretch. It's it's it sure is. Am I still in love with this? I, I still like it. I'd I, I'd say it's easily within like the best NES RPGs on the system. Like this Dragon Quest four and three and uh, Final Fantasy three for me are like some of the best. Also throw Sweet Home in there as well, but it, that's. That's more of a unique case. That one I like less because it's an RPG and more just because it's a unique kind of survival horror thing on the system. Like Sweet Home, Sweet Home's a really neat game. I played it for Halloween a few years back, and outside of weird emulation issues I was getting, um genuinely a solid, like, this is unique kind of game experience. Yeah, these fucking guys. They're going light, but the last time I got into a fight with them, they eradicated my entire team super quick. Well, it was more, especially with Mother, it was more, uh, it was more, uh, the, uh, the second game that really kind of inspired a lot of things, in my opinion. This game in and of itself, uh, is more inspired, because it's basically just Dragon Quest II in, like, a coat of paint. Oh, does this go someplace? I think this goes someplace. I want to go this place. That went a place. What'd I get? A super cool pendant. Um, who do I want to slap it on? Who do I want to slap it on? Uh, I'm gonna say Anna. I'm gonna say Anna, because if I don't, she might die. What am I doing? I want to go in my goods. But yeah, this game you could tell, like, Shigesato Itoi definitely late. I thought I gave it to her. What did I give her? Oh, I didn't give her anything. She's she's filled up. Okay. Well.
there we go. Um, but yeah, this game in particular, is, you can tell uh, Itoi definitely played Dragon Quest 2 and was like, yeah, I want to make this. And then he basically just made it, like, step for step, except he used, like, a unique setting instead. But the NES itself is filled to the brim with a whole shitload of Dragon Quest clones. So I, I can't really knock on Mother for being another one with their own unique spin. Um, like, I would say at least 90% of the RPGs on the NES are all some variation of Dragon Quest, so... Yeah, again, it's not really his fault. He, he brought a unique enough spin to it that I would definitely say it's better than the game he was inspired by. Want to stream the Dragon Quest games? Um. Yeah, uh. Depending on the ones you try to stream, um. I honestly don't know if I'd recommend you starting off with the NES games or not. You might be better trying to do the, uh. the 4 through 6 remakes and seeing how that works. To be honest. Because 2. I know the Switch version of 2 fixes some things, but 2 has some really nasty stuff in it. You can tell that they definitely made it at a point in time where they didn't really know what they were doing. Even in the remakes that kind of rebalance things, it's still got some nasty tricks. Um. Oh shit. Oh well, I guess I'm getting close to the end here, so it's not too bad. I was try the Iconic 8. Um, go that route for Dragon Quest 8. Um, I actually talked about this in a previous stream because I ranted about Dragon Quest for like a solid hour and a half. Um, so you can hear all my hot my hot takes in my my YouTube video my YouTube uh, archive. But uh, for eight, uh, I would recommend. Um, either playing the PS2 version emulated, or if you have a lot of problems with random encounters, um, emulating the 3DS version, but like, emulating the patched 3DS version. Um, some fans... In fact, that was the version I actually played on my modded 3DS. Um, some fans patched the game, so that way the color scheme and graphics were closer in tone to the PS2 version, because they kind of bumped up the brightness and made, like, the colors really boost it up to make it look better on the 3DS screen. Um, they didn't really need to, but they did anyways. Um, and in, in addition to that, the soundtrack in the 3DS version got kind of butchered a bit. Uh, it uses some MIDI soundtrack renditions. Um, but the fans, they patched it, they got the colors back, uh, they added back some old graphics, uh, the soundtrack was patched back to the orchestrated version. And while it still doesn't look as good as the PS2 version, because, you know, obviously it's a portable game, uh, if you can play that version with all the bells and whistles, it's probably the best way to play it. Um, if you're absolutely 100% want the original experience, or 100% want, like, you know, the best graphics you can have, play the PS2 version emulated, boost up the resolution, you should be good. Um, the 3DS emus, your only real option is Citra. And I know that's a bit hit or miss. Some games work perfectly, some games work kind of like crap. So, um, you'd, you'd have to check the compatibility on it. And I don't really know what the compatibility is for the Dragon Quest games. Um, I know some dudes have beaten them on it. Uh, I don't really know. Um, I've used Citra to play the some of the 3DS Shin Megami Tensei games, and those work just fine. But, like, Monster Hunter Stories blows on it, so... Again, I think it's kind of hit or hit or miss. Uh, check the compatibility on the website and then see if that uh, works out. And if you can't get it to work, um, well, then the PS2 version always works. So, it's still a good game either way. So, I must be getting close to the top of this mountain.
Yeah, I'm not gonna fight these guys. I'm not. I'm not. We're out of here. Yeah, you might have to Google some, some more stuff on their, their archive to see how Dragon Quest VIII were Fuck you, man. Fuck these guys. Yeah, and you don't have a gaming PC, if I remember correctly. I think you kind of forewent that for, like, a nicer streaming PC. Um, but yeah, you might need, need a beefy CPU to emulate it if it's saying you need good hardware. I actually can't remember what computer you have or what your specs are. I know you got the new one, but I don't think it was anything, uh... Gave them all the normal names. Yeah, I do that with most games. Sorry. I don't like changing the NPCs. Don't even feel bad. Eat it, nerd. Nope. Nope. That ain't their names. It will never be their names. It's Ninten, Anna, and Lloyd, you fucking Philistine. <laughs> Gotta get my pee pee up. So that way I can run away. I'm a giant pansy and I don't want to fight these guys. All of these dudes hit way too hard for me to give a shit to try and fight them. I'm at enough of a level that I can beat the game. I ain't doing it. I ain't dying and redoing a whole chunk of this dungeon. Again, it ain't happening. I already had to go through those caves like three times. I'm good. Yeah, the bomb's not that great, unfortunately. All of Jeff's, or, uh, Lloyd's stuff kind of blows. gonna give myself tinnitus. There we go. But yeah, unfortunately all of uh, Lloyd's stuff kind of sucks. Um, oh no. I hope I'm misremembering. Uh, it's like psychic things. Um, in, in Earthbound they called it PSI just to make it easier, but it's like psychokinetic or something like that. Welcome, Inten. I always had faith that you'd make it this far. Long ago, your great-grandmother Maria filled her eight melodies with all the love she could, scattered them as gifts for you. Even though she had never seen you before, and just like that, you know what I got? I got all eight melodies, man. Unfortunately, I think I have to go back to Magic Camp. Oh. Hopefully they don't make me redo the dungeon again. I should really heal everybody up before I do anything. That ain't a healing place. This sure is, though.
Yeah, you're talking in the Discord how, like, uh, shouldn't skip health stuff. Joke's on you, nerd. I haven't eaten since, like, at all today. <laughs> No food until I finish Mother. Uh, and I think I need the Yoke Arena. Slap it in an intense inventory. Did drop your PNG on Twitter. And I'll tell them what Pokeball I'm gonna use to catch. Someone posted fucking porn. <laughs> like a fat girl who's spending. <laughs> <laughs> They're hitting you up with those dump truck asses. <laughs> They're going all in. No, I'm like literally right at the end. I'm gonna go through with this. I'm, I'm, I'm we're, we're gonna be done. Cause as cool as Mother is, and as long as it's been since I've last played this, um, I, I'm, I'm gonna be playing Earthbound with a patch, and I'm kind of excited to see the changes with it. Where we're not gonna be going pure vanilla with with uh, Earthbound, so I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested in seeing, just, just uh. What awaits us? I think I have to psycho these dudes. Nope, they'll let me in. So, see, which is fine, but like, damn, is there any PNG where she's not exposed? <laughs> no. No, there's, there was never any PNG where she was not exposed. No matter what, you were going to see that dump truck. All these kids post about Pokemon, he's showing them what gets his Pokemon going. God. That's awful. <laughs> that sucks, man. Sorry. Anyway, it's time. We're gonna free this bitch from her nightmare. Because this is our grandma, and somehow she ended up in our head. And I don't know how, but we're gonna free her. Melodies, my favorite thing, man. I love it. We did it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing about your, your role playing. <laughs> He actually teleported behind you. <laughs> oh, Gig. I loved him as if he were my own child, too. He would always wag his tail as a baby. I would sing him a lullaby, but then... Oh, George. This is your wife, Maria. I know you've been waiting... I'm on my way to join you in heaven now. Once Queen Mary finished speaking to Ninten, she disappeared into the wind. Then the land of Magicant itself vanished without a trace. Magicant had actually been an illusion, 
born of Mary's consciousness. Whew. We're in the end stretch now, boys. Doing it. Oh, shit, I think this place is pretty maze-like. I actually can't remember how lazy am I. Do I want to use a map for this place? Do I? I don't think it's that long. I just don't know if I care enough to do it. Okay, it's basically an A to B shot. I, I didn't need a map. Yeah, I always liked this place, though, where it's like you just see them like capturing everyone and stuffing them in capsules and shit. Um, later, well, I won't spoil that. I won't spoil that. Another guy is like, I can't believe you said heal ball. I do need healing. How did you know? <laughs> putting up with people in heal balls. But yeah, I really like this room. Just because it's like, you hear earlier in the game that like all the adults were kidnapped from Easter, uh, which is Youngtown in the, in the, uh, the original Earthbound Zero translation, but uh, it's just like so spooky. Like You're not expecting just to find all these people fucking locked up like that. Straight up sci-fi horror. It's good stuff. See, am I all healed up? Yeah. It's gonna get rough, but we're gonna make it work. We made it to Viridian Cave, and now we gotta beat up Mewtwo. God, even the way they just, like, cut straight into the battle, like, not even, uh, not even, like, an encounter theme or nothing, just, like, no, everything stops, and then you're just in it. <sighs> so, yep, gotta sing to this boy. Not before I pump up my shields. I don't know if I want, yeah, I want Nintendo to do that, the other two can sing. In 10, I owe a great, de great deal to your family line. Can't grasp the form of Gig's attack. This dude's already spanking my ass. Okay, that's, that's great. I think we can only do one part per battle, or one part per turn either way, so... As long as we each keep singing, we should be good. Have him sing too, just in case I get killed. Maria, George's wife, raised me when I was very young. Dude, slapping all of her asses. I'll just have her keep using life up. There's no reason not to. While George himself stole vital information from our planet and tried to turn it against us, I'm thinking that's the, uh, the, the psychic powers he learned. If I actually need to have all three of them sing or not. Now 
Now their descendant is bent on hindering our plan again. Inten, I am referring to you. Even just the idea that, like, his attack is so, like, fucked up you can't even see it. That's, that's... That's good stuff. I like it. I don't know if I need all three of them singing or not. Uh, if you look at his original artwork, he looks a lot like Mewtwo. In fact, I'm almost 90% certain Mewtwo is based off of Stude's design. Now leave. May you be destroyed with the rest of the disgusting Earth people. Yeah, when I made that joke about the uh, the, the Viridian Cave and capturing Mewtwo, that, that wasn't just a joke. It's... It's, it's it's a real bit. <laughs> oh come on, Mewtwo Mewtwo's good. I like Mewtwo. I like his design. Yeah, I'm not sure if I need to just keep slamming him or there's a better way. So we'll just keep singing and see what happens. You are too weak to do anything. You are mere insects to me. I think I have to survive long enough, and then eventually the music starts continuing. Mew's alright. I I, I, I I just like the weird, like, sci-fi experiment look that Mewtwo has. Like, the weird, like, space alien. Mew just looks like a pink cat to me. Might have her use a PSI stone. Intent, I'm willing to let you and only you live. Board the mothership with me. I have made a mistake here. Nope, I should be fine. Then you can perish here with your friends and all the other hideous Earth people. It's kind of rude. Yeah, as long as he doesn't kill Anna, I think I should be fine, but... There we go. Stop singing. We're doing it now, boys. Make it happen. We're gonna blast this alien with Rick Astley and send him back to the meme zone. Even just the idea, though, like, you can't even touch this dude. The only way you can actually hurt him is by dealing, like, emotional damage, because he just remembers being raised by these two people that helped him out a long time ago. Unique idea for a final boss. I really like that. That's one of the things that kind of continues on through the rest of the series. I really like is just how they keep, like, the the final boss encounters really unique. Like, they're, they're creatures that you physically cannot kill, more or less. They're, like, just so beyond you, but you still manage to, like... I guess hit the, the their 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 emotional aspects rather than like actually physically just killing them. It's it's an interesting idea. I mean, even boss fight wise, I think there's only what like three or four bosses in this game that you actually have to fight. Well, that and I think uh, I think Itoi really wanted to make like a. You know, like a 
something where like the ending was a lot more emotional and human than just like oh you killed the thing and now you're the hero like he wanted to make something where it's like you know like you can really feel for the villain kind of Pretty sure this might be the last turn. <laughs> it's American colors. It probably coincidence, yeah. No, pro probably is. And I think this is it. It's going to be the full eight melodies. As an American, I'm upset canceling this. Oh, one more turn. One more. We're going to have all of them sing. I'm tired of this shit. We're gonna sing so hard. We're gonna send him, send ET back to his home planet. Yeah, it's kind of. I, I'm thinking it's just kind of coincidence that he ended up American colors, just because of the 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 pot he's in and everything. But it's kind of funny once you point it out. I, I have nothing against us, uh, okay? No, I, 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 I'm, I, I'm, you know, I, I got my hand, you know, glued, glued over my heart, like everyone else in the United States. <laughs> they don't want your filthy. <laughs> did it. And Lloyd is the one who did it all. <laughs> oh, man. How could I be defeated by this song? Someday I will return and make you intend. We will meet again. Like his, like his uh, spaceship, too. Spaceship kind of looks like Rob the Robot for the NES. Now that I now that I realize it. Anna is reunited with her mother as the rest of the freed people exit the cave. Yeah, fun fact: this little section right here was actually added to the U.S. version of the game. Teddy, his health fully recovered, is now a popular singer at the live house. Anna is cute. Don't 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 don't. Don't hate on Anna. Okay. The adopted grown-ups returned to their children in Easter. You did great, kids. Anna, I promise I'll never forget you, so I won't say goodbye. Just till we meet again. Lloyd returned to a hero's welcome at Twinkle Elementary School. Say so they tossed him up and down and then fucking slam dunked him back in the trash can where he belongs. Welcome home, Ninten. We're so glad you made it back safe and sound. You must be famished. I like how his dog walks upright, Snoopy style. 
Oh, a letter from Int. I miss him so much. I hope we can get together again soon. Dude looks weird with a smile on his face. I don't like that. Well, now that the Earth's crisis is finally over, I think I'll just lie down for a moment and... Going full real estate. Got Pippi. We got Pippi's mom. Got the flying men and the old dude. Oh no, that's the canary dude. My bad. Janitor of Twinkle Elementary. Uh, the kids of Twinkle Elementary. Mayor and the secretary of Mother's Day, I think. Uh, pigs. Um, uh, I can't remember these people. There's too many people. I, you, you're losing me now. Pretty sure these are just random NPCs. I, I don't know why he's remembering these guys. That's a doctor. Yep. Yeah. Wonder if this is a wet dream. God, I hope not. Oh, that's. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's the plane guy. He's pissed off that I still crashed his plane. Penguin in the Monkey Sanctuary is still my favorite NPC. Magic Camp Wizards. I don't even know what the fuck these are, so I'm not even gonna guess. Uh, guitar. Oh, I never refinished. I never visited the Guitar Man again. I don't. It mattered. So, fun fact: these guys, the Flying Men. The number that show up at the credits here actually is determined by how many you killed in Magic Hand, if you brought them along and they died. So it's entirely possible to have their section show up where it's just like them as graves going by. <laughs> and we got the full crew. And yeah, that was, that was, uh, that was Mother. Allegedly, this is the only RPG series that uh, Miyamoto, the creator of uh, Mario, has ever enjoyed. Um, apparently, he's never liked like any other RPG, including the Mario RPGs. So, yeah, Miyamoto doesn't like RPGs. He's on record of saying they're for like weirdos and stuff. Yeah. No, he doesn't like Final Fantasy, if I remember correctly. Like, he just does not enjoy RPGs. Yep, Shigeru Miyamoto right there. Player some fat guy. <laughs> yep, good old aping. If I remember correctly, I believe Ape ended up getting absorbed into a uh, Game Freak at some point. Yeah, I, I am some fat guy. Oh, this is your dad. I hate to wake you, but it might just be a little too soon to rest easy. Blasted with one more eight melodies. And actually, the screen might even be frozen. Yeah, I think this is one of those, like, 
something you don't really see anymore in games. Just because, like, a lot of times there's, like, you know, fucking 20 hours of credits and all that other shit, but, like, it always used to drive me nuts. I shouldn't say drive me nuts, but it would... A lot of older RPGs, especially, have just, like, end game screens. Like, you get through the credits and just, like, okay, the end, and then, like, nothing happens. And it's one of those things that I'm not sure if I should keep waiting just in case I can save for, like, a new game plus. Or if, like, this is just it. Like, do I just sit here forever? I don't know. There, there, there's been a couple of games where, like, the actual screen you have to wait on to get to the new game plus prompt takes so long that it feels like you're not supposed to be there. So, I... I don't know. I do know for a fact this game doesn't have a new game plus, so it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, this is basically the end. Uh, I did it. I beat the mother. Um, probably start streaming Earthbound here soonish. Um, I'm using a uh, patch for it that adds a bunch of neat things. So that'll that'll be that'll be cool to to try. Um, I believe it's called Maternal Bound. Um, I don't think it changes the gameplay balance at all, but it adds things like uh, B button run. Um, it adds unique enemy sprites for every single enemy in the game. Um, adds a quick talk button to the game. I think the game already had one on the L, but it makes like more of like a uh, congealed quick talk button, so that way you don't have to go through the menus to talk to people. Um, it adds a CD soundtrack, which we'll be able to hear um, while I'm playing. It's it's, it's going to be interesting. I'm, 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 I'm kind of excited to see what changes that one has when we get to it. But for now, I'm probably going to call it good for tonight and uh, attempt to eat something. So... Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for uh, being cool people. Uh, full archive will still be on uh, on my YouTube. And yeah, if you want to hear me ramble about random things for really long periods of time, um, that's the place to go to go for it. Um, just because, for the most part, nobody stopped in, so. <laughs> large parts of it are just me talking about shit like music and, and Dragon Quest. There's a lot of Dragon Quest. I apologize if you go back and listen to the archives, because there, there's, there's a lot of Dragon Quest. There's a lot of Dragon Quest. But yep. Alright. Good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs>